Hello, I am Dr. Israel Hawari, and today I'm going to talk to you about my poster presentation of my project entitled Direct Observation of Procedural Skills, what is known as DOPS in Dermatology Training. First of all, to understand that in dermatology department, the outpatient clinics receive a large number of patients with many of them requiring minor procedures. These procedures are carried out with our residents that learned about these procedures through apprenticeship with their senior clinical colleagues. We decided to go on and carry DOPS in order to allow a direct communication between our residents and the staff members to learn from them and to have a better evaluation of the process of minor procedures. Regarding the steps of conduction, we had first the approvals from our department. We collected the project team members. We performed a workshop to introduce DOPS to the team members and the trainers who agreed on a design of DOPS that including 10 items. Then a workshop was carried out with the trainees who were the residents from our department, about 12 residents, and the visitor residents, as well as the uh, postgraduates uh, registering for diploma and master degree in Tanto University. We introduced DOPS, DOPS and we made a pre-test questionnaire to evaluate their pre-knowledge about the steps that we will conduct. Then DOPS application was carried out where each trainee performed three procedures the trainee showed the evaluator and the suitable time for DOPS conduction. Finally, analysis of the data collected from DOPS sheets as well as the pre-tests was carried out. This is our milestone. Actually, we had no difficulties, thanks God. We had no uh, obstacles regarding the COVID-19 situation. We had no problems with our staff member that carried out the, the role as trainers and as evaluators, and the cooperation from our uh, trainees uh, was uh, marked. Those are the results from the pretest and the DOPS findings. We noticed the, the following. We noticed that uh, in the pretest, the trainees showed less interest in certain items related to patient communication, history talking in relation to other skin lesions and general history. The schedule was post care appointments and care for adopting a professional behavior. As the trainees knew the steps of DOPS, they uh, carried out DOPS with sheets with marked improvement of all the items noticed including communication, history taking, and the professional behavior. Improvement of the patient communication and the professional attitude of the trainees was reflected directly on the patient satisfaction. Finally, to conclude, DOPS is an efficient workplace assessment method that helps improving the physician performance of minor procedures. It improves doctor-patient relationship and provides a better patient care. It should be more widely used in dermatology training and in other departments where multiple procedures are performing. Thank you.